What's up everybody, Reed here from Flow of Grappling. Thanks for tuning in. I am here in New York City, the Big Apple for Kasai Pro 3. Going down this weekend, August 18th, gonna be an incredible car, but first, I'm going around all week and visit all the New York gyms, all the New York academies, and check out how everybody's training, how everybody's preparing for such a big competition. First on the list is right here, Henzo Gracie Academy, the legendary New York City Academy. Let's go on inside to check it out. Start a push pull action and bring my opponent down. From here, he goes to circle up with me. I can't go in behind. Him. So from here, my hand digs in nice and high. We block our training partner's hip. And we're in perfect position to step over the hip, knees together, and finish with a high elbow. Okay? Let's give it a try. Okay? Uh, all right, so we're here in the uh, infamous blue basement. We're all drenched in sweat. The mats are nice and disgusting. And uh, yeah, we're preparing for the Kasai event. That's this weekend, August 18th. I'm gonna be facing Juni, very tough opponent. Uh, we faced each other once before at the finishers, uh, 135 actually. This is gonna be a little rematch and uh, it's gonna be good. I assume it's gonna be pretty fast paced. You know, we wanna submit each other obviously. So that's gonna be the goal. I'm, I promise you I'm gonna do my best to submit him. Uh, and I'm sure he's gonna do the best to submit me. But we'll see. The, uh, the Craig Jones versus Ruth Small Paul Harris is by far the most exciting match on the card in my opinion because Paul Harris is extremely dangerous as well as Craig, but um, I think Craig will end up coming out on top. Craig uh, has a, more of a new age style when it comes to the leg attacks. Uh, I think his game is just a little bit more um, advanced from the kind of stuff that Paul Harris does. Basically, if Craig doesn't get submitted, I see him winning this match. Uh, I don't really see Paul Harris being able to win by points. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's just the way that I see him as an athlete. He's more of the kind of person that just wants to go out there and break you, and, you know, he doesn't really care top-bottom, you know, gets his back taken and doesn't really make a difference to him. Oh, Wrong leg. Right arm means right leg. So right arm. Jason was originally a Matt Serra student, uh, still is, he teaches at Matt Serra School on Long Island and uh, started coming in and uh, he was already very good at what you'd call classical Brazilian units. He had a strong positional game as you'd expect from Matt Serra School on Long Island and quickly got into the submissions game that we it's kind of our distinctive way of doing things, especially the leg and back game. And uh, this for him is by far and away the biggest event he's ever been in. Uh, I think it's fair to say uh, from an outsider's perspective he would be one of the great underdogs. And uh, I think it's great for him to go in and compete against people that most people believe are, are much more experienced, uh, much more well known, have much bigger brands and are considered by most to be a skill level above him. Uh, he's a problem solver, like all my students. He goes out, he doesn't, he's not emotional, he comes out, he plays a relaxed, fluid game. I absolutely know that he can hang with the best guys in the gym, there's no question. And the question now will be delivered to him. Can you translate these gym performances onto the stage? I'm, I'm very, very happy to see these young emerging athletes getting their chance. Wow, that was such a great time. I had such a fun time here in the blue basement. I finally got to put my rash guard on. For me, it was absolutely a bucket list item to come in here and train. Got some rolls with, with uh, Gordon, I got some rolls with, with Gary, and even Nikki Ryan. You can put a little montage of Nikki Ryan uh, beating the hell out of me right here. Uh, 
Uh, there's so many high level guys on the mats here every day, day in and day out. It's no secret that the next generation of Danaher Death Squad guys like Jason, Nick Ronan, things like that are out there killing the scene and it's no surprise that the room here is so, so tough. I hope you guys liked the video. Let us know in the comments below what you thought. I'm gonna be making these videos all week long, leading up, of course, to Saturday, Kasai Pro 3. Gonna be an incredible night, gonna be an incredible week. We're going to Marcelo's, Unity, who knows what kind of crazy characters we'll have pop up in these videos, but you're gonna have to follow along to find out. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.